Today is pumpkin patch day. Are you excited to go to the pumpkin patch? Are you? <coughs> you are. Here is the outfit. <gasps> Jeans and then I'll go with some black combat boots. And here is Carter's outfit. He is going to wear some <coughs> tan boots. I'll grab them and show you. Today is going to be by far the hottest day I've ever been to the pumpkin patch. It's going to be 80 degrees and usually October is back down to like the 60s. But mm -hmm. this year, yeah, this year is a little bit different. So hopefully it doesn't get too hot. Are you so excited to go to the pumpkin patch? Ah. Pumpkins? Ah. Pumpkins? Yes. Yeah. Uh. We're here. Are you excited? No. No. When we got inside the pumpkin patch, Carter immediately ran over to the music. He started wiggling around and staring at the musician on stage. He was completely mesmerized. We then met up with my nephews and my sister. And you can hear my mom in the background asking D'Angelo what he'd like to do. Of course, his first pick was the animals. Now last year when we brought Carter to the pumpkin patch, he was only six or eight months old. He actually fell asleep halfway through. So he really gets to experience the pumpkin patch full on this year. And that made me so excited. Busy Farms always has the cutest goats. This place holds a special place in my heart. What do you think, what do you? When I was in high school, I actually volunteered with my class to help Busy Farms pick up after their pumpkins after the October season ended and had a ton of fun getting muddy and dirty. Then came my senior year and I actually worked at the pumpkin patch doing concessions. Carter was being extremely destructive this entire time. He actually stole a stick from a little girl previous. I just cut it out of the film because I didn't think it was necessary. But he kept messing with the goats and when the goats would play with each other, he tried to play with them and it was super cute but we really didn't want him to injure himself. So of course we pulled him away from that situation. That's just the corn maze is by far one of my favorite attractions at the pumpkin patch but this year this year busy farms did us dirty this corn maze was not easy at all Halfway through, we actually lost my mom, Cassius, and Bethany, and they just left the pumpkin patch, and we continued to try to solve it. Which, in total, I think it took us maybe an hour or an hour and a half to get out of the maze. It was just a bunch of circles that intertwined with each other. Although it was really hot at this point, we all started to get kind of grumpy and Casey and I got into a little bit of an argument. But I think once we were able to get out of the corn maze, we all felt better. The whole time we were in there, Carter was just playing and giggling with D'Angelo and they were having so much fun. Okay. Hey, it's corn. corn. It has the juice. <laughs> go. 
believe that I know they can't play the see the best way. Bet you that when Oscar, you can never tell. Then it was time for the all knowing pumpkin throw. This is where you let out all of your steam, your anger, your exhaustion, and just go for it. Especially after a long day at the pumpkin patch with three toddlers. I'm just so happy and blessed that I get to spend time like this with my family. It warms my heart and makes my life happy. Hey! Carter was not having this wagon ride at all. He was extremely upset. Don't cut this. Oh, sad. Look at However, when we got to the pumpkin patch, he instantly gravitated towards all of the pumpkins, the smooth ones, the bumpy ones. We didn't stay much longer after finding our pumpkins. We were all just wore out and ready to head home and relax. So I hope you enjoyed this pumpkin patch vlog and I'll see you in the next video.